first half of 2022 has seen us manage many challenges, including COVID-19 aspects, global supply chain disruptions, ESCOM load shedding, as well as social, political and geopolitical issues. We believe these results demonstrate our commitment to being an industry leader that is dedicated to our purpose of reimagining mining to improve people's lives. Our strategy setting process enables us to proactively adapt and respond to changes in the local and global environment. We are driven by four strategic priorities. Firstly, stimulating new markets and leveraging new capabilities. Going beyond resilience and thriving through change. Maximizing the value from our core assets and being a leader in ESG. The successful delivery of these priorities must be achieved through safe and sustainable production. In the period, we tragically lost Julian Cicigne, who was injured in 2021 and passed away from complications linked to his slip and fall incident at the ACP. At our joint operation, Mudikwa, Reina Malaichi was fatally injured following a transport-related incident. We send our deepest condolences to their families, friends and colleagues. Our relentless focus remains on ensuring every colleague returns home unharmed every day. Now turning to our mining operations. Anticipated reduced production at Mughalakwena, where we mined through lower grade areas was partly offset by 21% increases at Mototolo and Umki, where we successfully implemented concentrator debottlenecking projects. Amandel Bolt maintained production despite mined out areas leading to infrastructure closures at Tumela at the end of 2021. Overall, our total production from our own mines declined by 7% year on year. Refined production and sales volumes declined year on year as our refineries benefited in 2021 from significant stockpiles available for processing. These ones of stockpiles resulted from the unplanned temporary closure of our ACP plant for a few months in 2020. Work in progress volumes have now returned to more normalized levels. While PGM basket prices declined in the first half, the realized price of $2,671 is the second highest average price on record, illustrating the robust underlying market fundamentals for our metals. We achieved another strong financial performance with revenue of 86 billion rand, EBITDA of 43 billion rand, and an EBITDA mining margin of 59% achieved in this period. Our financial performance enabled us to contribute to the broader society. In the first six months of 2022, we contributed 71 billion rand. We paid 6.8 billion rand in salaries and wages to employees and signed a groundbreaking five-year wage agreement reflecting the strength of our relationships with our unions and our employees. As part of our efforts to stimulate off-mine job creation, we increased our local procurement spend to 15.3 billion rand. And of this, we spent 1.1 billion rand with suppliers in our doorstep communities. In addition, we spent 350 million rand on social investments, community development projects, and dividend payouts to our community trusts. In total, we paid 33 billion rand to shareholders in this period. We also contributed significantly to the South African Fiscus with 9.5 billion rand paid in taxes and royalties, making us one of the country's biggest taxpayers. We continue our disciplined approach to capital allocation, which considers the outlook for our operations and metals, sustaining capital requirements, returns to shareholders and growth opportunities. As a result, the board has approved an interim dividend in line with our payout policy of 40% of headline earnings, as well as a special dividend, bringing the total payout to 80% of headline earnings or 21.5 billion rand. Now let's look at the remainder of the year. 
we expect full year metal in concentrate production to remain unchanged between 3.9 and 4.3 million PGM ounces and our refined production also unchanged at between 4 and 4.4 million ounces. We do have potential headwinds including further COVID-19 related disruptions and ESCOM load shedding. Our unit cost guidance remains between 14,000 and 15,000 Rand per PGM ounce, based on an oil price of about $100 per barrel. Capital expenditure guidance for the full year has been reduced to between 16 and 17.5 billion Rand. In the PJ markets, we forecast platinum surplus should gradually move towards a deficit due to a significant increase in automotive platinum demand, as some platinum replaces palladium in gasoline catalysts. Palladium is likely to move into a surplus for the opposite reason, though to what extent will depend on what happens to automotive production. Rhodium should head back into a deficit after two years of surplus. Our market development efforts will continue to support both established demand segments and the discovery of new applications. One example is our recently launched new gen hydrogen fueled haul truck at Mohalakwena, which has the potential to unlock new frontiers in decarbonizing our operations, drive demand for PGMs and support the building of an hydrogen economy in South Africa. We continue to be uncompromising in our focus on getting the building blocks for success in place and ensuring that our operations are safe, stable and capable. And none of this would be possible without our people, who are the lifeblood of our organisation. And I thank all of our colleagues for your contributions.